Turn the page, live your life every day. Don't let anybody. All right, we got a tortilla. Some green olives, a pickle. Ooh, what's that? Sauerkraut. Mayo mustard. There is the star of the show, a little tuna. Some seasonings. Hey, Mike Foster here. Recovering from an illness. You can hear it's in my voice, but I'm getting a lot better. I've been down for over a week. First time I've been sick for over 10 years. I get sick like every 10 years, so I'll take it. You know, if I get that in the next 10, 20, 30 years, I'll be happy. Last time I get sick, you know, I'll be 100 years old and I'll drop dead. Guess what? That's fine, as long as it's not happening now. So, I'm gradually getting my appetite back. I lost about 10 pounds. It's, it's good. Probably not the best diet I'd recommend, but I'm just getting back on my feet. And I thought that some tuna would be nice. So I'm going to whip together some tuna, but I'm going to serve it up in a burrito. I'm making a killer tuna burrito, and we're going to drop it off, top it off with a little cheese, okay? Let's get the tuna going. No more talk. I'm hungry. Let's chop these um, green olives a bit. All right, give them a nice little rough, rough chop. All right, those are done. It's a nice dill pickle. I'm gonna slice it, give the, give it the same chop like that. We want them all about the same size, so it'll be nice, nice melt in your mouth with the tuna. Okay. All right, let's get those out of the way. Here's the tuna, guys. Here's those chopped pickles that we just did. Here's those chopped green olives. Give it a little mix about. To this, some fresh, beautiful, simple sour sauerkraut. I like to add that right in there. All right, very green, if you know what I mean. Let's add a little smoked paprika. Color and flavor. Celery seed. That's what I'm talking about. Little powder of garlic. Sweet. A few cracks of fresh pepper. Let's give it a mix. All right. Little mustard. Love me mustard. Little mayo. All right, let's mix this in. All right, let's take a look. That looks pretty good, but you don't know how good it is unless uh, uh, mm, mm. that's killer. Let's assemble this tortilla and make a nice killer tuna burrito. We have a low carb tortilla. I'm gonna put some of this tuna in there. Okay, just a little. This amount could probably make several of these little small tortillas. Remember, my appetite's just coming back, so don't want to overdo it. Okay, yeah, that should be enough. Spread that around. To this, just a little mozzarella. You can use whatever cheese you want. On this one, I want just a little mozzarella, not too much. That's just enough right there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this in the microwave for about 20 seconds. What that will do is melt the cheese and get this tortilla foldable. Scene 20. All right, perfect. Now let's just fold this up. One side, one side. Bring this side in. These are gonna be little baby burrito. How's it look? Looks good. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slice it in half just so you can see it even better. And then take a nice bite. Let me show this to you guys again. There it is, looks really, really good. Can't wait to take a bite. How to make a killer tuna burrito. Look at this baby, I just did. Let's see how it tastes. Hmm. Oh, is that good? Just what the doctor ordered. Coming back from being a little sick. You can still hear the congestion in my, in my nose, but my taste buds are finally coming back. And all those seasonings I put in that tuna, Oh, they're really killer. The melted cheese works perfect. Just big enough for little baby Mike. For more killer recipes like this, check out my website, Live Life 365, and my YouTube channel by the same name. Until next time, peace. Live life.
if it's fine. 